Hello, my name is Dr. John Allen. I'm a paediatric researcher and lecturer in Trinity College Dublin. This video accompanies our article which has been published in the March 2020 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. Our article is entitled Severe Neurological Impairment, a review of the definition. This literature review forms part of a larger project entitled Serenity, Severe Neurological Impairment and Children with Medical Complexity. SNI is a term which is commonly used in the medical literature. In this review, we have shown that there is wide variation in how it is employed. In the papers that were reviewed, there were differences as fundamental as whether motor impairment, intellectual disability and disorders of the peripheral nervous system were included under the umbrella of SNI. So, why does it matter that there's no consistent definition of SNI? Well, firstly, there's been a powerful movement in recent times towards consistency in research, with the introduction of core outcome sets and reporting guidelines, for example. Having a uniform definition of a patient cohort is surely the most basic requirement in the quest to achieve this goal. A consensus-based definition of SNI would improve accuracy in assessing prevalence, conducting research, planning medical resources, and evaluating health outcomes. There are already numerous terms in existence which can describe children with complex disability. For example, children with medical complexity and children with complex chronic conditions have both been well defined in the literature. Children with SNI would certainly fit these definitions, but so too would children with complex congenital heart disease, chronic severe asthma and diabetes. Children with SNI can be expected to have numerous other health-related issues as a direct result of their neurological impairment. This, coupled with the fact that the term is already in use, means it's essential that we define SNI properly, with the ultimate aim of improving outcomes for this group of children and their families. Any new definition should be multidisciplinary and consensus-based. Ideally, there should be international international participation in the process, and of course, patient and public involvement. This will ensure that the, de the definition is as widely useful and meaningful as possible. We hope that you find this review article useful. Please feel, feel free to contact me at alanj2 at tcd.ie with any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.